Okay, welcome aboard. Here we are. Engine start in the SR. I am with one of my best ever flying pals, Ivy MacGyver, executive director of the SR product line here at Cirrus. And she's one of very, very few uh, rated demo pilots to be able to demonstrate the SR series Safe Return Emergency Auto Land System. In my weaker moments, Ivy, to me, this whole thing feels like magic, but you're going to kind of, what's the plan today? You're going to show us what's up. Uh, it's not magic, it's engineering. So I'm happy to be here, Anthony, um, with my experimental demo plane. It's basically uh, an SR-22 that's equipped with demo software to sh enable me to show you exactly what happens when you actually hit the safe return button that's in the, in the uh, ceiling panel. Because of anything, to finish off this course of training for the emergency auto land system, really what we're doing here is, again, like many safety features on the Cirrus, it's a feature we rarely would expect anybody to have to use, but it's it's beautiful to know that it's there. And more importantly, we're going to finish off this course of training so that you can get a demonstration for exactly what this would look like and what you would see and what your passengers would see and hear and what to expect in the incredibly rare case that you would need to use it. Yeah, right? it's, it's an exceptional technology that we have been working very hard to bring to the piston airplane. Um, obviously, uh, Safe Return or Emergency Auto Land is on several airframes out there, uh, but this is the first time that anyone's brought it to a piston aircraft. And by the way, to really take you along for a ride, this huge camera you see over my shoulder, well, behind that camera is our producer on the Cirrus Media team, Paul, and he is ready to get you views of everything looking forward, so you can really get a sense for what's going on the screens when when we actually do hit the button. Paul, you feeling good? Ready to go. I love it. That means Cirrus Flyers follow along, and this is going to be a really special demo. You ready to fly? Let's do it. Here we go. Caps and Caps and All right. So uh, here we are. We're about 12 or 15 miles from Muscle Shoals. Yep. And uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and activate safe return. Oh, boy. I'm is... just hand-flying the airplane, so uh, you can feel free to activate the system whenever you're ready. This is uh, momentous. It is. I'm pushing red. Paul, are you going to push it or I push it? Uh, go for it. All righty. Here we go, the big red button. You ready? Ready. Emergency All right, so auto emergency auto land has been activated. activated. The autopilot auto is in level level mode, activated. and it's giving us a warning well, and it's activating. My first question, though, what if that was emergency my kid in the back seat that was inadvertent? What if I didn't want to... All I do is disconnect the autopilot disconnect. Really? The autopilot disconnect mode. So just like any other autopilot disconnect, that'll kick the system off yep. and we're good. Just like if you hit the level button by mistake or you, you know, did whatever. Yeah. All I got to do is hit the autopilot disconnect mode. You basically have a 10 second window where you're hearing an oral alert. Like where it's getting ready emergency to Emergency auto okay. land is activated. Okay. You're getting a red warning yep. pass. Uh, or a crew alert yep. um, on the PFD, which is telling you that emergency auto land has been activated. Okay. Um, and the only thing that the system actually does when the red button is hit is it engages the autopilot in level level mode. Okay, but it's not like going into its It's not going anywhere. It's okay. just going into level mode. And what that enables you to do is you have a 10 second period where if you hit it accidentally or bumped it or your kid hits it yeah. or whatever that happens, you can hit the autopilot disconnect button and everything goes back to normal. You don't have to readjust your flight plan or reset Beautiful. up your flight or anything. It just goes back to you're now hand flying and you can engage the autopilot. So is it still possible to disconnect after the 10 seconds? Absolutely. Let's say you miss the window. Nope. And safe return has sequenced into the activation sequence where it's taken over. It's starting to go through the algorithm. You can deactivate it at any point in the sequence, but I'll kind of walk you through what it looks like when you actually hit the autopilot disconnect. Button. Okay. You want me so, to set that up? I'm ready for you to hit the button at any time. Paul, Paul, how about you get to push the red button for this inadvertent? Oh, fun. Oops, it oh, hurt no. for us. Emergency. All right, so you've got this 10-second window yeah. where emergency it gives you an oral land. alert, it gives you a visual alert. The safe return emergency auto land system is now controlling your airplane. Okay, so now the auto land, emergency auto land safe return system has been activated. Okay. It turns your screens into very simple screens. Now, for this demo purpose, I actually have one GTC that I can control because it's not broadcasting yeah. out to ATC in the demo software, but in the real world it would be. Yeah. So at this point, in the real world, 
you would be squawking 7700. It would be broadcasting to ATC. It would be running through the algorithm, deciding on where the airport is. And you can see here. It's already starting to line it's, up. It's right? already chosen. Muscle Shoals is the right airport. We're going to be landing in seven yep. minutes. But if we realize, oh, I hit it by accident. I can go ahead and hit the autopilot disconnect button. So it's still just a regular like autopilot so disconnect. I basically have just disconnected the autopilot. I'm now hand flying. Okay. This screen will turn to the um, sort of inadvertent deactivation screen. Are you sure you meant to deactivate it? This is what you do need to do to reactivate yep. it. But as a pilot, knowing that I have inadvertently activated it, I'm just going to pull up my checklist. Oh, and it just, it starts with the checklist it right there. It actually shows you this emergency auto land activating warning. So if you've done it and you didn't mean to do So this it, is how to clean up essentially with a checklist. How to clean, like, this is how to get yourself reset up to you flying the plane versus safe return. You're probably still filling out some paperwork when you get on the ground to let them know why they got an emergency indication, yep. right? A 7700, but Absolutely. at least we're cleaning things up now. Yeah, so we're basically, I just hit the autopilot disconnect button. I need to reset the transponder because it would have been squawking 7700. Right. So I'm just making sure that I'm squawking 1200. 1200. Great. Um, I basically set up my FMS. So right now, it kills my flight plan. Oh, yeah. So if I want to go to Muscle Shoals, I actually have to tell it where my destination is. Yeah. So, yep, okay. I've reset up my so flight So you're just plan. rebuilding the flight plan. No big deal. Um, I need to reset the altimeter because it actually automate, automatically adjusts the altimeter based on the, the surrounding area. Yeah. Um, so altimeter three zero zero one. Three zero zero one. I'll just adjust that altimeter. And then if we're far enough along in the sequence where it has deployed the yep. flaps, it will actually deploy the flaps to fifty percent and I'll kind of talk us through that yep. when we take take it through the whole sequence. Um, but it, if you're far enough into the activation, um, you'll need to bring the flaps um, uh, to wherever you yeah, want them, sure. right? So um, either you'll bring them up to zero or, or leave them at 50. Oh, there you go. So for some reason, we think maybe it had activated on its own? Yeah. So there is provisions in the checklist. If for some reason, safe return was activated and you didn't activate it. Yep. Uh, so there is a circuit breaker that you would pull. Okay. That makes sense. So yeah. once you've done that checklist, we're cleaned up and we're back in normal We're cleaned flying. up and we're ready to go back to our normally scheduled program. Now that having been said, is it time for the full demonstration? Will we be able to do a full one? I think it's time. So, I'd say whenever you guys are ready. Paul, you ready for this? Ready. Here's the real push. Here we go. Emergency auto land activating. Okay. Emergency auto land. So it's giving me warning activating. casts everywhere. Emergency auto land it's activating. Like window. Okay, 10 second window. Turn emergency auto land system is now controlling your airplane. I'm getting indications as a passenger to stay off the controls. Airplane will now so basically it's going through its activation sequence. Airport. Right now it's rushing through the calculation to figure out where we need to go so and how it gets around us. And now it's saying Muscle Shoals is the most appropriate, closest airport given the weather for the day, given the terrain, uh, given how far we are from yeah. airports in general, given the airports that are in close proximity, the length of the runway, the width of the runway, all that sort of thing. And it's identified Muscle Shoals as a very appropriate airport. And for so us it to just go. went into a full 30 degree bank there, descending 30 degree bank to line us up. I mean, that was that was an aggressive but very controlled turn. Yeah, and so like. it's basically, it's not going to fly in any sort of very aggressive manner. Yep. Um, but, you know, it's an emergency system. And the goal of that system is to get the occupants of the airplane down to the ground safely as soon as possible and, and efficiently as possible. And honestly, what I can't ignore at this point is on our SR series right now, we essentially have this auto throttle and it is going forward and backwards and it's a little bumpy, right? So it's adjusting power. Absolutely. To the so bumps. what we have a servo on the mixture, we've got a servo on the throttle yep. and those servers, servos are working with the software to adjust the mixture and adjust the power to basically hold Roughly about 150, 160, 165 knots around around there in um, in cruise, okay. and basically we're sort of in the cruise phase okay. of the auto land sequence. So we're landing in six minutes. It's going to tell us, hey, we're about to turn right. So okay. don't be alarmed when the right wing dips. We're going to turn right. 
We're going to turn right right now. Says so. we're going to be descending for two minutes. Yep. Like, if I'm a passenger, this is all plain English and it makes sense. Exactly. It, so, very simple terms. It's talking to normal it's people. It's talking in normal layman yeah. terms to keep everyone calm and everyone um, knowledgeable into the sequence of events. Yep. So, here's our speed. Yep. Here's our altitude. We're descend We're going to descend for a minute. Okay. We're 10 miles from the airport. Yep. We've got a ton of fuel. We've got 2.1 hours of fuel. We're going to be landing in five minutes. If you want to talk to air traffic control... This is what you need to do. But right now, there's no action required from you. Yeah. All you need to do is just sit and wait. The airplane has taken over control. Everything is very safe. And this, I mean, this is a big, obvious microphone button. So this is basically hardwiring us to 21.5, yep. I would assume, right? So uh, any passenger that touches that microphone button, they're talking to the right people. That's exactly right. So in a real-world scenario, we would be squawking emergency. It yep. would be broadcasting to ETC that we're declaring an emergency. Yep. It's going to broadcast on emergency frequency. It's going to broadcast on the local CTAP or tower. Yep. Now we are just about to configure this for is amazing. So what you'll watch, what you'll, what you'll see is the airplane slows down. We're approaching the runway. The flaps, flaps go down to 50%. Wow. And at this point, we are committed to land. Okay. So we're not going to, like, it's not going to um, fly around anymore. We have transitioned from the cruise phase into the landing phase, and it's going to go through um, instructions for preparing to land. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I mean, again, it's a pretty turbulent day down here in Muscle Shoals today. But the airplane is handling it amazingly well, and I, I'm just blown away by the precision here of the power yep. coming back and forth to basically hold us right at 100 knots. Yeah, we're going to basically look for about 95 okay. knots on this uh, on this kind of final approach. We're yep. six miles from landing. And so the other thing I think, while well, flaps are 50 and it's not going to go more than 50 now, I'm sure part of the logic there has to do with icing conditions, That's right? That's correct, yes. So it's going to assume that you are contaminated. So you right. you are... You know, it doesn't know what weather you've flown in. Yep. It's basically configuring your airplane for the absolute safest scenario possible. Yep. So it actually will turn on the ice protection system okay. if it's below 5 degrees C, um, and it will only deploy the flaps to 50%. Excellent. Excellent. So now we're just coming in at a 50% flaps landing. It's broadcasting to ETC. It's squawking emergency. It's notifying the authorities that yep. you have declared an emergency. But it's keeping everyone in the airplane advised of what's going on. We're four miles from the airport. Yep. We're landing in three minutes. There's nothing you need to do. It's just keeping us in a very safe flight envelope. Yep. And I, I keep watching. I keep coming back to this. But in the turbulence, I watch as the airspeed even barely ticks below 95. Immediately the power comes in, the nose yep. pitches up, and it kind of regains where it wants to be. I mean, it is... It is on the money with those uh, airspeed variabilities with the turbulence. Yeah, Pretty absolutely. amazing. And what you'll notice is the flaps lever didn't move. All right. Um, but the flaps, uh, the flaps went down. Yep. Um, when we land and the engine shuts down, um, the boost pump will go off, but the switch doesn't go off. And yep. that's all part of the. If I was to deactivate the system and hit autopilot disconnect right now, yep. I would get a flaps disagree because okay. the flaps lever is at zero, but the flaps are at fifty percent. Gotcha. So it's just a little bit of cleanup. And, and I a little bit of paperwork that you'll need to do. And I didn't watch or notice, but the mixture is full rich, and we were not rich when we started, That's so it right. obviously did yep. that, yep. and, it, and it'll mixture. actually move that mixture all the way back it when sure we will. cut on the Yeah, so watch this space after we land. Yeah. It basically, we will start to, we'll land, we'll start to roll out, the flaps will retract, yeah. and when the flaps are retracted, it will automatically apply the brakes in a nice, even, yeah. reasonably aggressive um, manner. And then once we're below five knots or, um, you know, close to stopping, yeah. um, then you'll see the mixture come back. We are about, we are short final. We're about to do a full emergency auto land in a Cirrus airplane, yep. in, in a Cirrus SR series. This, and look at how perfectly lined up we are here. All right. So I'm just going to kind of be close. Guard the controls. Yeah. For safety. For safety. Thank you. Just being here just in case. And I will stay out of the way of the controls. That sounds great. So I'm not going to touch the controls. Um, we're, you know, a little bit high. It's actually aiming for the thousand footers. It's yep. just doing a very safe half flaps landing. Yep. We're, we're nice we're and high, up, nice and fast. Lined up for the center line. Now you're going to see the throttle come all the way back. Yep. We'll see the airplane fly the flare. The radar altimeter is looking. It's looking. It's looking. We're flying that flare. 
Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, so now we're on the runway. You'll look out there. The flaps will start to come up. It's actually holding the direction yep. of the runway. Wow. So we touched down a little bit right, but it's coming back. Yep. It applies the brakes. Once we come to a full stop. No, I haven't touched you it. You didn't touch it? And, I'm not uh, touching I anything. didn't either. Not touching. So the power has come all the way back. The airplane's at a complete stop now. You'll see the mixture start to come there back. There goes the mixture. Wow. And as the mixture comes back, the boost pump is now off, even though the, the switch is on. Sure. Boost pump is off. Engine comes to a stop. Instructions come up on the air on the Wait screen. For the airplane and propeller to, to come to show a you stop before exiting. Basically, how to exit the airplane safely. That is next level. I mean, to exit, it touched down slightly right, came back to center line. Everything incredibly controlled. Out. I can't believe that. Yep, it's pretty amazing. Ivy, my friend, you are now maybe my best flying pal ever. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Thank you so much. Here we are on the runway in Muscle Shoals. Prop is stopped. We were safely led to the ground. No drama at all. And we just had a fully automated landing. Yeah, so now I've just basically set the set the plane up for kind of normal flight now. Uh, uh, the flaps are up uh, and the switch is up. The boost pump is on and it's come back on now. Okay. Um, I brought the mixture up. I basically, uh, there's a brake reset button. So I disconnected. The first thing you do after a stop to get the airplane off the runway is you hit the autopilot disconnect button. That yeah. disconnects the system. And then you hit, there's a brake reset button down here. Uh, that so obvi- basically releases the auto brakes. Yeah. Uh, and then I just did a hot start. We're taxiing off the runway. So obviously in the real world, uh, passengers would have landed, they would opened the doors, waiting for assistance. And it would be emergency personnel that would come to the airplane, exactly. do the brake release to be able to tow it off the runway yeah exactly and there's a placard right here that gives directions to emergency personnel of what to do and how to how to release the brakes okay so here we are back essentially the same place we started are we calling that a fully successful cirrus sr series emergency auto land demonstration absolutely we demonstrated the entire sequence of the safe return activation and I got to say, as the guy riding along and being very new to experiencing the system, I know you are doing a bunch of these demos, but this is really just the second time I've seen this, honestly. Um, I'm just amazed by how controlled the whole thing is. It's yeah. very predictable. You know, it joins on to final, makes some adjustments on the way down. The flaps come in where you'd expect them to. And even on a pretty turbulent day down here in Alabama, we were bouncing around a good amount. It's just constantly adjusting, making those fine you know, adjustments that you'd kind of expect a pilot to make. Yep. And then over the numbers and the flare experience was sort of, again, what I would expect. The touchdown was flat, but it wasn't totally flat. It was still on the mains. We were a little to the right of center line, but as soon as we touched down, there was an immediate j- adjustment that came back to center line. Braking was normal, and there we were. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ivy, thank you very much for the demonstration, and thank you for riding along and getting at least a little bit of a vicarious experience for what you and or your passengers could expect in the very rare case you need to use Safe Return Emergency Autoland. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks.